Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with the makeup drawer video, and this is my desk where I get ready at and I film at, so yeah, check that out. Got my laptop, got my water, and my little planner here. I got this at Marshall's. Isn't it cute? Yes, my cat spit it, so cat mom life. Let's get into the makeup drawer. Lexi requested this video, so thank you to Lexi. Um, I haven't done one of these in about a year, so I figured, yeah, we should probably do one. This is my desk where I get ready and where I do my makeup, where I film, so I keep things on hand in this drawer that I like to use a lot. These are like my frequently used items. So let's start off with the face products here. I have two Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. This is my favorite formula. I have R220 here, and it's engraved with my name. Isn't that cool? I got this engraved at the Ipsy event. It was so cool. Cool. they were doing this for everybody who got a Makeup Forever foundation so there's that I'm probably never gonna get rid of this bottle just because it's so cool to me I really love that and then this is um, Y205 now for drugstore I kind of fell back in love with the L'Oreal True Match this is in the shade C2 I talked about this in one of my recent favorites videos and I just really enjoy this it's a nice drugstore option then for concealers here this is what I've been using lately I have the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This one is, um, it's alright, it's not my favorite. I probably will try one of their other concealers next, like the Better Skin one. I might give that a shot since I'm kind of more tan now. So let me know um, what you guys have been into because I want to try a new drugstore concealer. Um, I might get like the Fit Me or the Better Skin or something. And then for high end, this is my favorite concealer. This is like my new absolute must-have concealer. Well, it's not new. I've been loving it for a while, but this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Fair Neutral. And this you guys saw last time because this is like my favorite primer. It's the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I love this for my dry skin. Now this is new to me. I was trying out a sample of the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin Foundation and I enjoy it so much, but I actually like the shade 1.0 better. I liked this foundation so much after trying out the other shade, the other sample, that I purchased it. I just got this the other day, so I put it in here to use once I kind of run low on these foundations. So there's that. I just got this recently. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. But anyway, back to the primers. I have um, this Hangover RX from Too Faced. This has the coconut water. I really like this in the summertime because it's really lightweight and it does kind of have a coconutty smell. So it's just a good lightweight option. Um, but I prefer this one. This one's my favorite. So that's it for face. I try to keep it kind of like just down to the products I use often. I don't really put like new stuff in here. I have that in a separate area, like new products I'm testing. So then onto this section, this is like cheek and face products, powders, highlighters, all that blush kind of stuff. So Naked Skin, this is in the 1.0. This is MAC Soft and Gentle, one of my favorite highlighters. Um, my favorite bronzer of all time. My favorite bronzer of all time, this is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in Light. This is a great matte bronzer for fair skin. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. I just tried this recently and I love the shade. It is It lasts all day. I love this. Blushes are great. I really like them, but I never tried this shade before, Exposed, and I don't know why because it is the perfect everyday color. It's beautiful. Another favorite highlighter of mine, um, this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's kind of like a cream to powder product. Different type of texture for me, but I still really love this. It is the perfect golden highlight for summer. It's very similar to Soft and Gentle. Honestly, these are both very flattering shades for any look. That's why I have gold in here, just because I feel like gold can go with anything. And then another highlight. I love my highlight, you guys. I've talked about it in a lot of videos for good reason. This is the Matte Radiance highlight, and it is gorgeous. This is more of a champagne color. It's beautiful. I, I really love this one too. And the shade is 01. More highlighters. <laughs> I told you I love my highlight. This is Moonstone. Another great one. Another kind of classic for me. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Yes, queen. Moonstone. I love it so much. Beautiful. Um, a little bit of a warm yellow kind of champagne. I've almost hit pan on it. Like, I feel it coming. It's coming. But yeah, I love these. Let me know if I should review these. I have a couple I could do like a swatch and review. 
but I'm a big fan of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I think they're great. And then these are like my new loves. These are the Maybelline Master Strobing Sticks. There's only two shades available, light and medium. I did a whole like first impression Maybelline video, and these, you guys, definitely worth trying. I got mine at Walmart. They're $8 each. I love these for summer, especially this shade 200 medium. It's like a really pretty um, soft gold. For powders, these are the two I'm using right now. This is a pressed one. It's translucent. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's just like a translucent powder. Um, I like to use it to set my concealer. And this is a loose powder. It's from Laura Mercier. This is their translucent powder as well. But my case kind of cracked. I like both of these. Um, this one is my favorite loose powder. It's really nice and smooth. It doesn't leave my my dry skin looking too dry so I normally kind of stay away from powder I don't really powder my face often so you won't see me use much powder but those are the two I keep on hand now on the side here I just keep utensils tweezers and lash curler here I just have napkins to help like keep my stuff clean I'm really I like to wipe everything down and then these are my equate um, makeup wipes these are just really nice they're great for removing swatches especially I use these all the time they're just great very affordable and yeah so that's like my little keep things clean station here and then in here I keep eyeshadow palettes um, I don't keep many in here at the moment just because I've been using these two so often this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach so here it is in all its glory I really do enjoy the neutral colors in this palette the most especially puree and summer yum down here those two mattes are beautiful they need to sell those in a single shadow because those are the two that I use the most out of this whole palette and then this is my own makeup geek palette this is just a Z palette that I bought and then I put all of my makeup geek shadows in here here's my palette and yes it's looking a bit dirty I gotta take them all out and kind of give this a wipe down um, I usually clean out my makeup like once a week I do it usually on Sundays so I gotta do this it's midweek and my palettes looking messy usually I take one day out of the week to just kind of clean everything up so I will do that very soon but um, yeah these are all of my favorite makeup geek shadows I have shimmers mattes I have foils in here I kind of have a mixture of everything so this is these are like my most used and I've hit pan on my favorite ones that one's frappe I've hit pan on it I love that one and then these other two are absolute must-haves that one on the left is beaches and cream and then in the corner that is creme brulee another favorite so those are all my makeup geek shadows of choice i use these pretty much every time i get ready never fails and then in here this is kind of like eyes and brows mixed together so i'll try to briefly go over everything but it's kind of like mixed up right now this is the tarte lights camera lashes really nice natural looking mascara Maybelline Colossal. This is like a classic must-have. This is a new one. This is the Lash Princess from Essence. It's new to me. It's not like brand new, but I just got it to try out. I love the packaging, and a few people recommended it to me, so I figured why not? It's like $4. Really cute. Urban Decay Primer Potion. Pretty essential for me. NYX Glitter Glue. I really like this stuff. Glitter Primer. Um, I use this whenever I wear glitter. This is my Senna Cosmetics Lash Detail Mascara. It's a really nice lower lash wand. I love this. Great quality. And uh, lash glue here for whenever I do wear lashes on occasion. This is the Creolon one and it's black so I like that when I wear eyeliner. This back here is a Jordana eyeshadow pencil. 12 hour made to last and this is the almond one. I believe it's almond. Yeah, continuous almond. This is my favorite shade they make. I use this as a primer for my eyes too. So there's all that. And then some more stuff. Cosmetics Eye Graphic Liquid Liner. This is a newer product. I really like it. It's definitely very black. My NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is definitely a favorite of mine. I always have this too. The shade here is chocolate. It is just so great for keeping your hairs in place. Another NYX Brow product. Micro Brow Pencil. Great dupe for the Anastasia one. This is the only one I use now. Another pair of tweezers. My beloved little tiny Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama Gel Pencil Liner. This is in Striking Copper. Look how much I have left. Well, um, Smashbox Pencil is just a brown eyeliner. I use this for like my beauty mark and stuff. I don't really use it that often, but it's kind of running out anyway. But I have plenty of brown liner. Um, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, just the original. I like the original better than the waterproof, just because the waterproof one is too waterproof. It just... It's hard to kind of scrub off, so I like this one better. So I got that. 
Ooh, I love this. This is my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is so worth it, you guys, especially if you're a winged liner girl like me. I use this pretty much every time I do wings now. More pencil liners. This is the Essence I Heart Rock. It is so black and smooth. I don't know if they make this anymore, but if they do, I'm definitely restocking because I love that. Okay, now this is the um, Girlactic Black Liner. This is another good pen liner. Um, if you haven't tried this yet, definitely recommend it. You can get it at Rite Aid. This is one of the best um, black liners I've tried as far as pencil goes, but it is pricey, so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase when I run out, but I do really enjoy it. This is the one of the Laura Mercier Eye Caviar sticks or something. The shade is Rose Gold. And uh, I use this mostly on my inner corners. It's really pretty. I got this like in a little free gift set when I made a purchase at Laura Mercier. I just keep all the eye products I like to use a lot in here just to have them on hand. And then in the corner I have a little Essence Pencil Sharpener, Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal. I love this one. And then my NYX Brow Cake Powder in Auburn. It's a little dirty because I use it a lot. And then my beloved Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette in Auburn in the back. I still love that thing. I use it a lot too. These two are like my favorite uh, brow kit product. So there you have it guys. These are the products that I use the most. And I don't wear this every single day. This is just for when I do want to get ready. And I don't want to think about like what makeup I use. This is what I go for. These are like my favorite items. My most used products. Holy Grail. Stuff like that. I keep them all in this little drawer. Keeping everything that I like to wear up front just kind of helps helps me get ready quicker so that's why I like to have it all in here and just um, in case you're wondering these bins are from Marshalls and they were in like the kitchen organization section so these are meant to be like silverware drawers I believe and that's where I got these bins the desk is from Ikea let me know your other video requests down below in the comments and also what do you guys use I would love to hear from you all and as always thank you so much for watching <laughs>